What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Line in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are back today with another episode of the Fan Home Millennium Falcon build with stages 19 through 21, actually. So I was kind of looking at all of our stages going for the rest of the package, and really there's not a whole lot to do, but, you know, we've gotten our fair, fair worth out of this uh, package, so to say. And so, uh, with that being said, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do all of our parts because basically it's all working on the same exact thing. So we're going to go ahead and complete stage 19, and then we're going to go ahead and unpackage stage, tw stage 20, complete stage 20, and then unpackage stage 21, and then complete stage 21. They're all pretty quick and easy ones. So... Before we get going, I did this one off camera. <laughs> um, this doing, I, I hope that this is the last one that I have to build. Uh, it's really tedious. I have glue all over my fingers. As I was editing the previous uh, episode, I'm like, oh man, it's just me struggling putting things on on this tiny little thing. And I, I'm just done with it. I'm done talking about them. I'm just kind of over it. So... I went ahead and did that off camera. <laughs> I just, I hope that that is the last one that we build. And if not, then, well, FML. So let's go ahead and start by going ahead and completing stage 19. And to do so, what we're going to do is we're going to line up our four or our six screw holes here. And we are going to start off with two of them going into place. So I think what we're going to do is going to start here at the back and we're just going to grab two of our four millimeter brass screws. There we go. Here I have my trusty new screwdriver. Get that settled into place. are self-tapping. So gotta be a little forceful with the tie with the uh, Titan. <laughs> well Jordan you went too far. And there's my first real blunder of this build. Very interesting. And that's fine. But, note to self, you don't need to go on that far. Wow, Jordan. Wow, wow, wow. Just over here aggressively tightening. Ah, it's self-tapping, you see. So, you gotta push real hard. And, um... Hey. So, what you don't do is that. Thankfully, this isn't a part that we really are not going to see too often. And I may consider <laughs> reaching out to Fan Home. <laughs> I gotta be real. They're really good about stuff like that. So, I'm yeah, just going to quickly get that one tightened in. And no further. Alright, let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. We're going to be doing it for all four. And so I'm going to go ahead and connect up the ends, however, or the remaining four screw holes, but I'm going to go ahead and start at the end. Instead of trying to hold that, which is kind of unnecessary, really. It is to kind of hold that in place though. So. Nervous. <laughs> if I'm being real. But it's cinching down. And again, man. Oy, oy vey. 
well, the glory of paint, but it was not like lining up flesh, flesh, flush with the uh, edge here. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. It's likely I am, but it's a little frustrating. Just trying to get it to pull together and it wasn't. Pull yourself together, man. Pull yourself together, man. Push down from the beginning. Yeah, I don't know if the, the everything that I hear about stage four in that frame <laughs> wasn't my fault <laughs> I didn't ham hand it other people have broken it too and I think that's why you don't really do anything with that portion of it for now it's very interesting how we start over on that section of the ship and then we immediately move over to the bottom very strange I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening these two up, and we'll be right back. All right, <laughs> so stage 19 is almost complete without, you know, too many blunders, I guess. Sure. So let's go ahead and get these clicked into place. <clears throat> we are not going to glue them. We're just going to be clicking them into place. I don't know if we're going to be gluing them later. I don't think it's necessary, though. Satisfying. That went right in. Very nice. And nice. All right. So that corridor is all put together. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 20 by unpackaging. Uh, we have one of our jig pieces here. So let's just go ahead and get this opened. Without the usual fanfare, so to say. But still, we're going to approach it the same way. So, we have our next jig piece. Very nice. That's pretty cool. And those little, vel those little felt pads are going to be going right there. Got a couple connector pieces. I'm not sure if we're going to be using those right now. We have one of our wall sections for the next corridor bit. I'm going to go ahead and set this jig aside. The jig is up, so to say. We have a couple of our frame sections. We're also going to be setting these aside. These are actually going to be for uh, the support for the uh, landing ramp, as uh, or the frame right around the landing ramp, right, as we're getting uh, to that portion of the ship. So that's pretty cool. We're going to be setting that off to the side for now. Here are our felt pads. And then our wall bits. And these are basically just going to be fitting in right into these little pieces here. And here. <laughs> and then we have some screws. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and toss our piece. Make sure all this is done. All right. So now, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. So... We have part number one and two. <laughs> and goodness me, and then three, and then four, and then five is actually the small one here. And then we're going to come back over here for six. Goodness me, two is this one, six is here, seven's here. Oh, wow. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go ahead and separate out step by step all of our pieces and we're going to be go ahead and going to be going ahead and putting them into these little slots here they have little holes in there 
Uh, each pin has a very specific location. There's going to be slight curves that we're going to be having on, uh, or they're going to be having to make sure that we're paying attention to. Uh, and then we're just going to be affixing with like a dab of glue on the very back of the uh, sprue piece. So let's go ahead and get started. It has a diagram here, and I'm just going to go ahead and follow the instructions because I'm assuming that they're going to want us to do this in a very specific way. And so I'm going to go ahead and line up the pieces the way they have it on the diagram. And then this one is just like that. Okay. So now I'm just going to kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard to, kind of funny. Kind of funny, honey. All right. Yeah, <laughs> sure. All right, so we're gonna cut the uh, pieces off the sprue as we go along. All right, so we're gonna go number one, and that's going to be this very outside piece right here. And then I'm gonna quickly clean it up just by using my cutters here. And then a little bit of filing action. That one's good. And number one is going to go right up here in this corner right there. So I'm going to grab my tweezers. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly dip them. <laughs> all right my friends uh in true aligning the stars fashion i have you saw the i don't know if you saw it but <laughs> you may have heard it it went doink and then it hit my face and then it's gone and i have no idea where that piece went and it is <laughs> the smallest one out of actually no oh my god all right <laughs> so i'm gonna keep an eye out for it i don't know what we'll do if we don't have it we will figure that part out later i'm sure i'll find it i'm just gonna be paying attention for the next couple of days but my goodness i cannot believe that just happened okay <laughs> let's go ahead and go on to part number two shall we and let's pray that for the love of god i don't mess this up oh and the glue got in my face and it was just like oh dude so let's not do that again that approach is not gonna work <laughs> goodness me what a bonehead wow okay so jordan what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of your glue here put it on your tab put it on the back put it on the other tab and then, my friend, what you're going to do is you're going to do one of these with your hands. Just like that. All right, move on to number three. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I did not uh, clean up that piece with the... Whew. I did not clean up that piece with my file before we attached it because I'm a little frazzled. I cannot believe I lost that piece. The first piece of a parts build that I've lost, you guys. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. For as much throwing around as I do, I always get lucky finding it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to find it. So, But who knows? Who knows? My kitten loves eating plastic, and as much as I try to want her to get her to stop, she may find it and think it's a tasty treat. Okay. <laughs> And I will be screwed. Okay. Alright, 
And that one has a little notch right up here at the top. And they say in the instructions to make note of that. Okay, we're going to find number three. Which is the one we just did. Excuse me, we're going to find number four, which is the one right below it. You know, and I might put the glue. Put the glue. Uh, I might put the glue on this first. No. No, I'm not. Just on the tabs is fine. And just a little bit here and there. One end has a slight curve, which is going to be this one. Five. Number five is this one here. Get it cleaned up. I think it's time to replace these. We used to get really clean cuts and they're not so clean anymore. They're also not like super expensive. I think it's time to get myself some better cutters. It's about time for me to upgrade all of my equipment now. I've been able to like accumulate all that I need, but I'm going to have to use my tweezers here. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I've been able to accumulate all the equipment that I need, but it was kind of like at a sacrifice of like, uh, I'm going to have to go with like a little bit lower quality. You know, trying to make sure that this expensive hobby of mine doesn't get out of control. Which, <laughs> I know, good luck. But now that I have everything and I'm able to start just building for the most part, Hey. Um, I can uh, start focusing on replacing my pieces one by one. All right, so obviously part number one is off in the nether, and we'll figure something out to do with that. We'll figure that out. I'm not too worried about it. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit number seven, which is one of the very very other small pieces here the basically the matchup of the other side that i flung and so let's not let's not do that again there we go yeah. but i think uh first order of business is going to be a new airbrush mine works but I've been doing a lot of research around airbrushes and asking some fellow, fellow modelers and God, just this piece wants to go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's time. Dude, this piece is the curse of me. I'm not even going to clean it up. I'm just going to get it tabbed down into place and just move on. Oh my God. This is the worst. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. There we go. Right. Part number eight. But first order of business is going to be this. And then, no, oh, really? Um, and a new airbrush. So it's time. Oh, I'm not the greatest with uh, paintbrushes. I'm getting better, but I'm not the greatest. And uh, I really love using the airbrush. And so I kind of want to lean into that a little bit and see what I can't do with that. But I need a better airbrush. 
I have I really struggle keeping my flow going and it's just because of the crappy airbrush <laughs> at this point like everything that I've said everything I've read is just yeah it's a crappy airbrush so you gotta spend money on them as with anything you gotta spend money on it I'm getting a little crusty. Uh, that's real close to my finger there, Jordan. Don't fling this. There we go. Let's get number nine. Number nine. times like with the airbrush I'm able to just go there's other times that I struggle and in the previous like episode we I couldn't get it to flow right despite it being perfectly clean and fresh and ready to go and I'm not sure why and I think it was just because the paint was mixed improperly but then I used it just the other day and it was fine and there's oftentimes things where I'm just like Everything's fine. Why aren't you working? <laughs> so, yeah, it's just time. It's just time. Turn this part piece over so I can just match up my piece. There we go. So, I'm not. I'm gonna hold off and purchasing one for a moment. So. Go ahead and say here, if anybody knows of a good airbrush out there for around $100 or less, um, I don't have a compressor, but I'm willing to purchase that as a side. I have a compressor that I want to get. And I guess 175 or less for a compressor and airbrush combo. Like, let me know. And once again, I'm not the most knowledgeable with all this stuff, so please help me. I would really appreciate the help. All right, so number 10 is going to be this piece right here. And I'm looking to get that within the next month or so. <laughs> Things that are amazing. Oh, idiot. Things that are amazing, though, um, currently, as I'm recording this, you can hear my girlfriend playing Doom in the other room. <laughs> super great. I love it. It makes me super happy. The sound of the zombies and things dying is just... <clears throat> so good. So good. So, just a few more left to go. Let's catch number 11. It's going to be this one right here. Hmm, that one cut really nice. Yeah, it's been a fun package. Although, I will say, um, a lot of focus has been really on the interior, and I get it. Um, and I really wish that they had started introducing the jig a little bit sooner. So. Because it would have been nice to be able to place and be able to have a place to put it, basically. All the parts. I'm really, like, struggling to figure out. My finger was stuck to the table. Uh, really struggling to figure out where to put all this stuff. And, um... So I gotta do some research on proper size containers for this thing and see what people have used to store it while they're in the process of building it. Okay, number 12 is gonna be this one. Let's 
So yeah, I've been like just dealing with tons of like <laughs> just all of the fan home boxes. Thankfully though, last little bit with the Enterprise, they've done a really good job of like bringing together all of the things that we've been collecting over time, which has been super important to me because like it's just been so much stuff and it's great, but looking at picking up another part build here in a second and I'm like man I need to start clearing out some room and I don't know what I'm thinking with doing another one of these things but they're so fun so we'll talk about that soon Matt and I have been talking as well and we're gonna be doing some things pretty excited about it There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to part number 13. We're getting close here to being done. And then basically the next stage is doing the same thing with bigger pieces. It's a very quick and easy stage. And once again, more just assemble, more collecting parts for frame bits for later on. But those are the only two pieces of the jig that we've gotten so far. And it's probably we're going to get another third one. I'm making assumptions here, but it's likely in the next package we'll get a third one and maybe even a fourth, and then we can start assembling our uh, bottom pieces. Because we have third, we have completed one third of the bottom of the ship. So now, is it just a matter of? Well, which side? Is it just a matter of getting all of the four, like four pieces so we have something to build into as we're going along? I hope that's the case. Okay, let's find number fourteen. Very bottom one. All right, looks good. <laughs> I need to make sure I do a better job of this. And I've been looking into what I should use for applying super glue. So, once again, like I said, I got. Uh, I got a bunch of equipment upgrades I gotta do here soon, so it's gonna be a good thing. But we're gonna take it slow. I had to like really just rush to get everything I needed real quick. And so I had to compromise on quality. To me is the name of the game these days and anything comparably uh, anything comparable price wise for quality for equipment is basically what I'm looking for. Not looking to go to the top of the tier, but Oh, getting close to being, oh, there we go. Getting close to being out of this one. Um, so yeah, if we can get like pretty close to the top of the tier for equipment, that's exactly what I'm gonna look for at this point. Like if you're gonna upgrade, do it right, do it the first time. <laughs> so, all right, number 15 is going to be this bad boy right up here. Because it doesn't make sense to upgrade and then upgrade again. I can just take it a little bit slower and do more upgrading as we go along. It's more appropriate. That's kind of what my feeling is. But airbrush is a priority. New cutters priority. Like <laughs> this coming up week priority and some better streaming equipment. My webcam just does not do well and I can't use my phone for streaming so... At least not the way I want to use it. So. Well, hmm. I say that. We shall see. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Getting all crazy here. 
All right, and we are back with what just might be one of the very tiniest parts that I've put on a model so far. And so, look at that. Look at that tiny little thing. There we go. Not quite as small as like the running lights on the uh, NX-01, for instance, but pretty damn small. All right. And I missed this on the other side, but I'm a little nervous about it, if I'm being real. For obvious reasons. There we go. Let's go ahead and toss our sprue. And I'm not going to try to clean that up. And I think I'm just going to try to put a little bit of our glue here. This right there. And it is going to go in place. Just like that, yeah, maybe, yep, just like that, look at that, super tiny, <laughs> super disappointing, uh, hopefully I find it, I'll let you guys know next episode, so, okay, let's go ahead and clean up our space. We have more of this to do. We are not done yet. So let's go ahead and get our corridor back here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and it is going to go like this. And it's kind of interesting. It kind of comes up and it gets narrow as we go along. So we are going to take some glue. Get our tabs taken care of. Man, I really need to clean this thing up. I will be right back. Have I mentioned I hate super glue? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> God, this stuff sucks. Anyway, we need to use it. Can't use anything else for this. As far as I know. I know it's ABS, so this is what works best for it. Okay, so now these two tabs here are going to slot into these two tabs right there. Very good. Okay. That was a little tricky. It's getting tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Okay. So this one is going to go in just like that. <laughs> I say as I do not correctly demonstrate the way of putting it in there. God, I'm great at this. And you know what? We are going to now officially live with this part not having that lower piece. And it is what it is. So we're going to tab in from the bottom. There we go. There we go, I say. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So what it does is kind of gives it that uh, collapsing corridor effect, which I really like. From the back there. And let's go ahead and fix our ring. Now, perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to stage 21. That was 20. On to 21. And this one's a relatively quick and easy one. So let's go ahead and move our parts out of the way. Let's go ahead and unpackage one more bad boy here. And what we have here is basically the the part of the hole that leads up to where the ramp opens up, I believe. I could be wrong. But let's go ahead and get our package opened. And this is our last package for the month. Our last stage. And I was able to take my time doing it, which is super nice. So 
There's our nice resin piece, and it's got a little bit of weathering on it, but we're definitely going to need to do more over time, and that's definitely why I need to get a proper airbrush. So there we are. We're going to set this aside. We have some more of our frame section. Uh, we're going to be going ahead and setting that aside as well. This is also for the uh, area right around the uh, ramp as well. And then we have some more screws and stuff that we don't need right now. Which, you know, cool. I went ahead and just pulled out a selection of them as well because, you know, God knows if we need them. Super frustrating. <laughs> so anyway, here's stage 21. Right here. <laughs> Gotta love it. This is $13.99 plus tax, y'all. $13.99 plus tax. I, I'm not, that's not being fair. It's, uh... They are, you know, obviously we're building more towards it. So it's the whole the whole cost of everything, so to say. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do real quick, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and separate all of my sprues, uh, pieces off my sprues, get them cleaned up, get them lined up in order, and we will be right back. All right, we are back for the very last little bit of package number five for the Millennium Falcon. And I gotta say, this is pretty damn cool. I've been uh, really enjoying this, actually. You know, it's... As much as I hate doing these things, just putting this together, despite my little couple of mistakes, like this one back here is gonna be covered up. This one I'm a little worried about. I might drop some paint over the top of it and just say la vie. But, uh, you know, I really do love the way that this model looks. It just looks so good. So... Let's go ahead and finish up for the week. And so what we're going to do is we're going to be turning our model this way. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see if I can prop it up a little bit. Find something to prop it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go ahead and install our pieces. I'm going to do the bottom row first and then the top row. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get some glue on our back tabs here. I have so much super glue on my hands, I'm going insane. Really. It's insane. <laughs> there we go. Very good. She's in there playing Doom right now, and I think she just died. <laughs> I just heard a shit. It's Doom 2, actually. There we are. Let's go into part number three. to the end here my friends turn out a little bit longer and at least on my end I know there was a bunch of uh, cuts <laughs> just lots of like the same repetitive work and I'm trying to avoid doing all that all the time so rather the content be good then fill up airtime there we go push that one down a little bit same with this one Oh, you know, this one might be upside down. I think it is. Yep, it is. Glad I saw that. Yep, that one was upside down. Excellent, glad I caught that. Okay. So now I'm just going to test fit this to see which way they want the tabs to go. Above or below? Below. Okay. Huh. That part doesn't want to come out now. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here 
Uh, just get a little bit of glue. And two of our spots. Concentrating hella hard, sorry. <laughs> I'm always like, wow, you're being real quiet. But then I also need to be concentrating, so so I'll screw this up. And I think next time we approach this model, what I'm gonna focus on is getting equipment for this model for next time is going to be a proper uh, glue application for soup glue. And I might look into some uh, super glue dispensers, actually, now that I think about it. Or something like a super glue brush or something. Because this is much better than the toothpick thing that I was doing, but it gets crusty after a minute. And now we don't like crusty. It's a cool clown, but no joking around here today. Haha, <laughs> see what I did? I'm hilarious. Alright. <laughs> and my friends with that very bad joke. There we are for the week. So what we have done is actually quite a bit of work. We have uh, assembled off camera, I went ahead and did one of these. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is at this point. Uh, and then we uh, assembled all of our pads along the inside of here. I think that turned out really good. And then we went ahead and finished the inside here with only one missing piece that maybe we'll find. And I will give you guys an update next time. And so I just want to say thank you. I know that there was a million things y'all could have done today. And instead he spent a couple minutes watching me build the Millennium Falcon, which I think is pretty damn cool. If you guys have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, please let me know about the airbrush. Let me know down in this, please let me know down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. And my friends, until we see each other again, I hope you all have a wonderful day in this beautiful world wherever you happen to be. And just remember that you are one with the force, but the force is one with you.